All right, so plan for today is the same as yesterday. So I plan on searching around this area with the SP Minnow and then switching to my needlefish once I figure out where the stripers and the blues are. Um, I did bring some paddle tail, small little four inch paddle tails with me just to, just for fun because I know schoolies around. I might be able to catch a couple of those. So um, enjoy the video. All right, so it is about nine, nine, ten feet over here, which is what I like, the depth I like to fish in with this SP minnow. So we're gonna chuck this bad boy. Same thing as yesterday, really quiet. if that's a oh there's one there's one oh there's one right there oh I'm not sure what that is blue it's probably probably a blue probably a blue I don't think I'm keeping any more bluefish. Ooh, that's a nice one though. I don't think I'm keeping any more blues. Though. I got more than a, more than enough. All right, top water time. I'm gonna get the needlefish out. That's a, that's a nice one. I want to tire them out a little bit before I get them anywhere near me. Yeah, he ain't ready yet. I think that's a boat behind me on the on the lighthouse. He's like on the lighthouse pretty much. Things a rusted shot. There we go. Very nice blue, very chunky. Has sea lice all over him too. All right, he's gonna splash me. Nice and smooth. All right. All right, I'm gonna get the needlefish out in the water. It's my favorite. Yeah, this St. Croix that I'm using right now, it's just, it's a triumph of it's, it's a pretty cheap St. Croix as far as they go. Um, I actually cut the bottom off of it so I could use it in the kayak. Oh, there's one, there's one. There's one right there. 
There you go. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. What is that? Oh, that hook, he's barely hooked, so I don't really want to get that in the in the face right now. bit that thing good. There you go. There you go. Nice release. Yeah, with this needlefish, just want to slash the top right now because these bluefish are actually, they're looking for pogies right now. And if one looks hurt, they're probably going to go after it. There's one right there. Right now, I just slow it down right in his face. Sometimes they'll they'll grab it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Striper, nice. Finally, oh. not a huge one, but I'll take it. Nice little striper. And over here is where I saw a decent sized school of something over here. There had some size to it. Wonder if they're still over here. Fishing a needlefish is tiring, but man, I think the uh, the visuals are worth it. Sorry, I'm just fan casting this area because I know there is fish cruising over here, so they, I'm hoping they're favoring it and sticking around. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got him.
Oh man. That's, I don't know what that was, hard to say. Feels bluish. Oh, that's a striper. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully it doesn't pop off. That's been my luck. Oh my goodness, that's a nice one. Yes. Oh man. That's a nice one right there. He might be over, oh man, that might be, he might be over on the, on the size. <laughs> Look at that. Persistence, persistence, persistence. Look, Look at that. Oh boy, let's see. All right, let's give him a measure quick. Hold on. I usually, I usually only keep one of these a year, so I'm hoping, hoping he's within range to, to keep. All right, let me move this. All right, let's see. Actually, for the size, he didn't fight as good as um, as I thought he would have. All right, so he's at the edge of the lip. Oh man, there's no good way to do this. Shimmy down here. All right, it's right at the nose and I'm keeping it nice and flat against his body. I keep one of these 28 right there. 33, 7 eighths. He's legit, so we're keeping him. Thank goodness. Finally, a slot fish. I can't tell you how many fish I've lost this year. I'm still gonna fish for a little bit just because I'm out here and it's still early. It's only like seven something. All right, let's see. Keeping him. Very good. Finally, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm only I only keep one striper or two a year. That's really it. The meat lasts me probably in a fish like that, it probably lasts me through most of the summer. So with working this needle fish, I'm gonna reiterate again. I'm just going like this, reeling it in at like a medium pace. Uh, I'm just heard something jump. Uh, I'm just twitching the top to keep it up in the water column up in the top because the this thing's bottle shaped, so it has a lip right here. And as the water passes over it, it's going to want to go up and go like that. Actually, this thing's broken. Nothing some epoxy can't fix. So um, if you stop reeling it, it's going to sink, which is a good thing to, good feature for it to have. Because like I said, I, I always tell people when you stop this thing in the fish's face, it's they're more than likely going to grab it. Especially where it's wavy today and the, I feel like, I feel like the fish can't really get a good gauge on trying, they, I feel like they miss it a lot more in the waves. And then if you slow it down just a little bit for them so it goes right underneath the surface so the speed stays consistent, they can give it a go and 
gives them a better chance of hit oop, gives them a better chance of hitting the thing of help if I open my bale. You know what? I'll try the paddle tail. We'll see. All right, just a little tiny pad paddle tail, three eighths ounce jig head, and 10 pound test line. So we'll see. Just these fish are so picky right now. You got, got one, told you, quick. Like this fish there, they just, they just want whatever it is they're keyed in on right now. Made quick work of that. It's probably a little tiny schoolie. Or it's a blue that completely destroyed my paddle tail. Oh, there they are. It's fish right. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. Oh. oh, no, it's a stripe. This. Watch this. Watch this. Match the hatch. And these aren't big fish, that's why I really wasn't doing this earlier. Still fun though. Things chomped. Let's see if I can't catch one more fish on it. We'll see. All right, guys. So had a good day out here. Um, morning started off really rough. There's probably like a 10 mile an hour wind this morning. Um, I actually started down this direction that I'm facing right now. I was down there for like an hour, then paddled behind me probably another two miles. So I'm exhausted at this point. I caught one keeper striper, caught a couple nice bluefish, and caught quite a few um, schoolie stripers. And yeah, it was a good day. So I'm going to give it a break for a week or so just because I think the weather is supposed to be crummy for what I've seen, so we'll see. But if something changes, I'll get back out. Um, <clears throat> for the first time yesterday, I had someone message me on Facebook um, that watched some of my YouTube videos and asked me to go out fishing with them. So yesterday I did and had fun and um, yeah, I don't mind doing that thing more often. So some of you live Massachusetts, Rhode Island, uh, maybe more than happy to figure out a time to go fishing with you guys. So, um, it's, I don't know, I'm usually not a social creature, but I should probably try and change that. So we'll see. Um, yep, and then I showed you how to, hopefully it was descriptive enough, showed you how to use a tsunami needlefish, used a SP minnow, and then I used a little um, paddle tail, it was like a four inch paddle tail with three eighths ounce jig head. Um, yeah, that's really it. So if you guys like this video, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you guys.